Hi, I'm Zane, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create quick websites using AI. So I'm on a website called gamma.app, so you can see the website name right here. If you go to the website and just go to the top right here, you can go ahead and sign up for free, and you can generate your websites for free, no credit card or payments needed. So go ahead and click here. And once you've clicked here, just go ahead and sign in with your Google account or put in your email. And once you're logged in, I'll show you what to do next. Awesome. So once you're logged in, uh, you'll see this page where you can start creating your website with AI. So you can paste in the text. Maybe you've got some notes or some documents. Maybe you want to generate with AI and start from scratch. Or maybe you have some kind of PDF or some other file that you can import to start. So in this example, we're going to start from scratch and just uh, go for the AI option. And I'll click that here. Um, let's see. We have an option to create a presentation, a website, or a document. So we're trying to create a website. So I'll go for a website. And then I'll go for what kind of website I want to create. So let's just say I want to create a personal portfolio for a designer. And I'll click create, Generate Outline. And there we have it. So there you have all these different sections. Here it has the About Me section, your design philosophy, feature projects, a bunch of other sections. If you want to add a section, you can actually go ahead and uh, add something here. So maybe I want to add socials. And if you want to move around one of the sections, so for example, if I want my testimonials to go higher, I can put that there and bring the design process below. And here I can choose how much text I want per section of the website. So I'm just going to go for a medium amount of text. And in terms of images, I can browse the web or I can uh, choose AI to do that for me. And I can also describe what kind of image styles I want. So personally, I prefer uh, minimal images in all my websites and my presentations. And I can also choose the AI model here. If you're not sure which model to choose, you can always stick with the default or go for Stable Diffusion XL, which is a pretty good one as well. Next, I'll press Continue and wait for it to generate. And there you go. Here we can see different sections for what we can have the website look like. So maybe we want it to look like this. Uh, maybe we wanted to give it like the stark look. Maybe we want to go for this. I kind of like this. Um, so I'll just go with this option and click on Generate. We're just going to give it a second to load. And there we have it. So as we can see, it is generating the website right in front of us. Images should be appearing in a couple of seconds as well. So I'm just going to scroll down. And you can see all this is happening right here. There we go. First image has uploaded. Now we get the second image, third, fourth, fifth. Obviously, you can decide uh, to go with a professional designer or a design agency and create something that looks even better. But obviously, that's going to cost you a lot of time and money. If you just want to create something super quick, maybe you need uh, a landing page for work, maybe for something else or a quick project. This is just phenomenally easy to do. So just getting back to this, if you want to change the theme, you can do that here. So maybe I want to go for another style. I can click on this one. Maybe I prefer this style. I'll go for this one, right? I can then click on X. If I want to share this, I can click on the share button right here. If I want to publish it and make the website live, I can do that as well. And there you have it. Again, you can also change the slides and add new cards and so on. So for example, if I wanted to change some text here, I can just go ahead uh, and do that. Just say hello there. And uh, you can also click on the images and change the images. And you can also perhaps go to the bottom or to a certain section and add a new section below it. So maybe I want a new section here and I get all these different kind of templates that I can choose from. So maybe I want something that looks like this. Um, I can just put my headline there. I can add images and I can add sections to those text. So very nice and simple, very easy. So if you're looking to just spin up a quick website for a personal project, for work or for anything else, I think this is an awesome option. So thank you for joining me. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.